In this example, power mill robot will be used to machine different areas of a car. So again, the first thing to do is to select the robot that we wish to use. I'm going to choose a Delcam robot, a 7 axis with a spindle and a linear track. The robot is loaded and you can see that at the moment the position of the part with respect to the robot is incorrect. Using the part positioning form, that can be very quickly remedied. And once done, we can then go and choose the toolpath that we would like to simulate. So I have one here for the rear windscreen of the car. That's selected. I can rewind to the start of the operation and then simulate through that operation in order to achieve a simulation program of the motion of the robot. This can then be saved and automatically loaded into the simulation at the bottom of the screen here so that we can see exactly what the robot will do. Again, we have ticks all the way down. This tells us that everything is fine with this operation. So the next stage, having done that, is to create the NC program. So I'll create one called demo and to that NC program I will add the toolpath we generated, the three axis rear window. So having done that I would like to add in a transition because I now wish to machine the front cluster for the headlamp region. And so let's add a transition using the right hand mouse key and I'm going to do that using the virtual teach pendant. The virtual teach pendant appears on the screen. I can declare that I wish to have a new transition and to that transition I can add the current location. Now I'm going to use the robot cell controls, sorry tool controls here, to move along the rail dynamically to the new position for the robot. Something like this. I'm going to add that position to our transition. Having done that, I can then choose to maybe rotate the robot around slightly and then using the pendant to nudge down to the desired location. Okay, so I'll save that transition. and then go on from here to machine the front light cluster. So again we'll activate that toolpath, we'll go to the robot control page, sorry the robot control page and attach to the start of the operation. Using the tool control options down here uh, in the right hand corner of the, the screen I'm going to first of all nudge the robot such that the wrist joint is slightly higher and then with the rubber control page ask to use that vector as the default for the wrist. I can then quickly simulate that operation and save that as a simulation file. Again you can see we have ticks telling us that everything is fine. So the final thing to do is to assemble our NC program. So after the rear window we would like to add a transition called Trans1 and then after that transition we would like to add a toolpath called Light Cluster. We can see the sequence of all of these events at the bottom of the screen here. So if I was to go through that simulation very quickly to the stage where the transition occurs, we can see that the robot moves out, transitions down the rail, and then moves down and onto the light cluster.